HER2 CLIMO5 was presented as a trials in progress poster at San Antonio Breast Cancer Symposium in 2022. We're very excited to be enrolling in this trial and an answer some of the important questions it asks. The design of this trial is essentially a first line maintenance trial. And what I mean by that is our current standard in the first line setting for HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer is a taxane in combination with trastuzumab and pertuzumab. The taxane is typically continued six, eight, 10 cycles for a fixed amount of time, and then the chemotherapy is dropped, dropped out. Patients continue on their trastuzumab and pertuzumab, and if they have ER positivity, they often add endocrine therapy at that point. So once the chemo is dropped out, this kind of enters the maintenance period. And so what HER2-CLIMB is looking at is at that time that patients are dropping out the chemotherapy, would adding to catnib to trastuzumab and pertuzumab improve outcomes? Specifically, we're looking at improved progression-free survival, but one of the other endpoints that I'm particularly interested in is subsequent development of brain metastases. We're really seeing that in up to 50% of our patients with HER2-positive metastatic disease that they're ending up with brain metastases at some point in their treatment course. And so certainly prevention is much better than just treatment once something happens. And so we're curious of whether using tocatinib earlier in treatment settings potentially could prevent some brain metastases since it has such good activity in the brain.